Okay, doing another review and a little maintenance on this Makita. Um, previous video, I said I only had it for a few months, but it, in actuality, I've had it about a year and a half, two years, and it's been excellent so far. Um, it holds pressure. I mean, I, it, it'll be up to 140 PSI. I can leave it for weeks or even months, and it won't leak out. The first few weeks I had it, um, it did leak a little bit of air, but um, it sealed itself up and now it doesn't leak anything. Um, so I want to give, just doing an oil change today, so um, give you the money shot here and we'll see what this looks like. Just a 10 millimeter screw. Yeah, so it's, it's got some uh, filings in there and it's a little not really filings, but it's a little dirty. So I thought it was cleaner than that. Checking on the dipstick, it just seemed seemed to be pretty clean. So I think for a break-in, you would want to change it after you know a year or year and a half or two years or something. So that's what it looks like. I've you know I'm I'm not a contractor, so I'm not putting this to use every single day. Um, but I've used it uh, more than average, you know. Probably has got, um, if it was a total run time, probably 40 hours on it, 50 hours, I would guess. So um, that's the factory oil inside. Also going to just clean out the air filter a little bit. It, it's actually very clean. And I haven't had an extreme dusty environments yet, but this is really dumb. It's it's really hard to get the air filter out there, out with that screw, and the this cover, the filter housing doesn't even does not come off. So that's kind of dumb. But it's a nice little filter. It's got foam gaskets on both sides, and uh, it's just good to take a little compressed air, you know, and clean it out from the inside out once in a while. So I'm going to drain this and come back and fill it up. Okay, I like this compressor so much I'm actually going to flush it with some regular uh, motor oil. Uh, so I filled it up again and I'm going to run it because I didn't realize the, the oil was that dirty. And after an initial uh, oil change, you know, there's a break-in period for these. So the first oil change is going to be a lot more dirt than any. Alright, here's just the regular motor oil. So that's coming out pretty clean. But not a bad thing to do for a dollar worth of oil or 50 cents worth of oil. Um, they, they do not recommend using a multi viscosity oil. It says right in the, it says that it leaves carbon deposits and you just don't want to do it. You want to use a SE non detergent 30 weight or I love synthetics. Full synthetic compressor oil really is the best thing to use in it. So, all right, I filled her up. It took about 12 ounces of oil to get it to the middle of the sight glass. There, I just got a couple little magnets I put on the drain plug just for fun. Um, so, 12 ounces, and this is what I used it's a full synthetic non detergent air compressor oil. Um, starts compressor 10 degrees colder and 25 increased wear protection it basically performs better when it's cold out and I have started this compressor in zero degree weather and it, it does start a little hard that's a combination of the motor and and the pump of course so having a lower viscosity oil in the winter does help here's a little chart that they recommend uh, so if it's really cold a 10w is what you want to use or a or the synthetic that I'm using so uh, viscosity is very important in the winter here's a little they recommend every 300 hours or three months um, to change the oil so uh, pretty easy process of course you want to run the compressor and get it hot uh, before you change the oil and to get the sediment loosened up and then you can also you know tip tip the compressor back to get all the the last drops out of there but uh good thing to do
So I also want to give you a little uh, noise comparison between a couple other air compressors. This is a little uh, roll air pancake compressor. And it, I got to rebuild it. It doesn't have. It's not all hooked up, so it's not gonna. It's gonna be a little louder than normal. And then I got this uh, 13 gallon uh, belt drive, which they're supposed to be quieter, and it is. It's. I bought that one just because this Makita is pretty loud inside a garage. Um, also, wanted to give you just kind of a comparison of brands. For the money, I think this is the best air compressor that you can buy for a, a smaller size like this. I researched a ton. Roll airs are the top of the line. Um, they make a unit similar to this and it's like 550 bucks. I mean, they're great, but Makita, from the research and reviews that I've read, they're, they're right, you know, next close to roll air. Um, I mean, for 300 bucks, this thing is gonna last a lifetime and it's, it's built really well. Um, here's some specs on it again. And then DeWalt, you know, I, in my opinion, it's way below Makita's quality. M, they make, M-Glow is who makes uh, DeWalt compressors and M-Glow is pretty good, but DeWalt, the other DeWalt's just, they're not, uh, they're not very good compared to Makita. So, you know, the Americans make awesome stuff, but Japanese also make excellent stuff. And this is made in Taiwan, which is better than China anyway. Um, it's not made in Japan, which sucks, but... Yeah, here we go, made in, made in Taiwan. So, but it, it's, it's quality.